Hey guys, so I thought that I needed to do uh, an update video from the video that I had uh, posted uh, probably about three, four weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I'm not sure. Um, this is the video regarding the Geoptic uh, to EQ6 tripod adapter. Um, so in that video, I, um, you know, I said that the Geoptic adapter, which is this piece right here, um, fit on the Atlas or the EQ6 tripod, which it did. And I showed that in the video. I mean, that was no problem. Um, the problem that I had was I assumed that it also would fit on the EQ6 adapter uh, for the tripeer. So this piece right here is the Ioptron tripeer EQ6 slash Takahashi uh, mount adapter. Um, what I found was after, you know, a couple months and finally getting to it, I tried it on the tripeer and it didn't fit. What happened was the diameter of this piece right here was 65 millimeters and the diameter in here was also 65 millimeters. So being 65 millimeters and 65 millimeters, there's no room for play. So what was happening is this piece was actually just kind of sitting on top and I had a uh, probably like a three millimeter gap and it just kind of wobbled around. So I couldn't get it bolted down. I couldn't, it wouldn't fit in the, it wouldn't fit in this, this hole in this little recessed area. Um, so I'm thinking to myself, what the hell am I gonna do? Um, so I kind of, you know, went back and forth and was thinking, well, maybe I need to see if I can find some other kind of, uh, adapter. Um, but this adapter works on the EQ6 or the, uh, Atlas tripod without any problems. So I started looking around and I found, um, a couple places in town that were, uh, CNC aluminum, uh, uh, manufacturers, like they did aluminum, uh, uh, custom work, right? So they, they make all kinds of stuff, you know, aluminum poles or aluminum bars and, and just all kinds of stuff. So I took this piece here and this piece here and took it to their, to the owner and showed him, you know, what I was, what I was trying to do and what I needed to do. And he pretty much said, Oh yeah, no problem. Um, we just need to shave some of the, the diameter to make this just a little bit bigger. And I, I did explain, it needs to be like a hair, just a hair bigger, not, not a whole lot. And I was a little leery, I was a little scared um, about doing it. But after talking to him and telling him what I was using it for, I, you know, I told him I'm, I'm using it for astrophotography. And, and then he kind of told me, he said, oh, you know, that's kind of funny that you say that because um, we actually had some pieces that um, we made for NASA and they're up on Mars now. So, they made 10, they manufactured 10 titanium pieces. Uh, I, I don't exactly know what they were, but I think they were on the, um, one of the rovers, like on uh, Opportunity or maybe on the capsule or something that, that was part of that. So they actually had a certificate in their, um, in their um, main office that showed that, hey, you're, parts that you made for us for NASA are now sitting on Mars, which I thought was pretty cool. So I figured, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take the, you know, I'll take a chance. Um, I think it cost me like 70 bucks to have them, uh, machine this out. So they machined it out. I mean, very precise, you know, they told me, oh yeah, no problem. We can do it. So this, diameter now is a little bit more than 65.5 millimeters. So they shaved off a little more than 0.5 millimeters um, and increased the, in the diameter on it. So now the Geoptic sits right on, no problem. And it is flush, it screws in, it does everything that it's supposed to do. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on it. Just keep in mind that if for some reason you do have a G-Optic adapter uh, for an HEQ5 
and you're trying to put it on an Ioptron uh, EQ6 tripeer adapter, you're probably going to run into the same issue that I did where this diameter on the Ioptron tripeer is not big enough. Okay, well, I think that's it for this video, guys. Um, again, uh, thanks for watching. Hope everybody's getting clear skies. I hope that uh, you guys are having cooler weather than I am. And I hope that you guys are capturing some great images.